All right, now that's all done and taken care of. All right, so now we're back. We're back inside the Link's Eye um, firmware page, right? You want to go ahead and let me just show you guys right here. You can go to connectivity, right? And then you're going to go here where it says router firmware update. You're going to choose your file, right? So now we're going to go ahead and we're installing OpenWord. Now, here's the super, super, super important thing, all right? Um, please make sure you are downloading the correct OpenWord software for your uh router right so um there's a stable release and then there's the one that they're currently working on right so obviously you want to go for the stable one um in this particular video we're going to install both i'm going to install both the stable one and the release candidate six for the new one they're doing just that way i can show you guys how to like you know just get stuff working on it but please make sure that you are getting the right router right so what i would do is you know i'd go here to firmware selector right and see they, they made it super easy you just need to know what model uh, you know what model your router is which mines is a uh, WRT 3200 right and it's this one it's the ACM right you can usually find it on like the bottom of like the router or something like you know the little stickers or whatever it is so um, so yeah so uh, I already have uh, the the you know the stable version and the snapshot downloaded so we're going to install both right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the stable one of obviously right and please forgive all my tabs this doesn't even work no more this doesn't even work no more here we go all right so let's go ahead and let's install the uh, stable one which is the uh, 21.02.3 at the time I'm making this video here and actually, would you look at that? I need to actually download factory, right? Because these are going to be, all right, so, ooh, yeah, there we go. All right, so I need to download the factory one because I'm doing a brand new install of Open War onto the system here. So let me go ahead and install that or download that, right? Um, where I'm at uh, currently, which is currently in Egypt, I be lucky if I can get like, you know, 250 kilobytes a second of internet speed. So the struggle bus is real here, but uh, you know, we, 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 we will make work what we can. So this is downloading right now and it'll be done in about, you know, less than a minute, right? You download the factory one when you're doing a fresh brand new install of open ward on your router. And then since we're going to be then upgrading to the release candidate, Right, I could have just installed the release candidate straight up, but remember what I said about this particular router model, right? It has two different partitions. So I want to have the stable version for one partition and then have like the experimental or like the upcoming one, right? And the other partition. That way, if there's any bugs or anything crazy like that, I can, I can jump back and it shouldn't be no problem. So now here's uh, something that has worked for me, okay? So, in installing open wart, I have found that more stable that when I'm installing open wart for the first time, if I'm going to install it on both partitions, then what I try to do is I try to install, I try to install the factory on both of them instead of doing the factory and then the system upgrade, right? Cause for whatever, I had this really weird issue one time where like, the the interface like the entire open war interface was slow and it wouldn't work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download the factory for the the stable release version which is 21.02.3 and then i'm also going to download the factory version of the release candidate that we want to use all right and so and the reason why i'm doing this the reason why i'm doing this is because like it it has helped me tremendously in making my installation more stable when i'm like trying to do a a big upgrade now look you a lot of times will not experience the kind of issues any issues really a lot of times like uh, most people are able to use the system upgrade version and then just do an update like a standard update and it'll be fine for me with some of the stuff that i do doing a, a straight up factory install and then just restoring some of the basic settings that i, I use has always worked so much better for me so i have both the firmwares um downloaded so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and 
install. So the first thing I'm, do, I'm going to do is I'm going to install the um, release candidate version, right? So I'm going to install the release candidate version. This is the one where uh, um, the reason why I'm doing it like this, where I'm installing the candidate version first and then I'll install the stable one, is because when I'm done, I want to be able to just go ahead and work straight out of the stable one to get some uh, some basic internet settings set up. And then that way, I'll back up those settings. Cool. All right, it's rebooting. I'll back up those settings. And then, and then that way, when I boot into the stable version, or I'm sorry, the release candidate version, after I, I set up the stable version how I want it, then like we'll be able to like get set up a lot faster. Because a lot of times, like sometimes uh, you can get you can run into issues if you try to like restore settings from a newer version of Open Wart onto an older version of Open Wart. Not saying that it won't work. I'm just saying that sometimes like. Uh, you know, you pro you're more prone to issues doing it like that versus the other way where you're using settings from an older version into a newer version. A lot of times, most people recommend you just straight, just, you know, just redo everything from scratch. Like as far as like certain configurations, if it's hopefully not too much. And for most people, it shouldn't be, right? Because you're just talking about your, uh, your router name. <clears throat> You know the router name and your Wi-Fi passwords and whatnot so so I want to see my router is back up now so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check to see what the IP address is this time <laughs> right because it changes all right so yeah so see so this is like the basic back in the day standard right so 168.11 all right so you already know so let's go ahead and uh, 168.1.1. So this will get me into, this will bring me straight into my router. One cool thing you can also do, guys, you can also just type in openwart.lan and that will, um, uh, uh, ooh. yeah, obviously you can't search it, but if I do openwart.lan, right, that'll also take you into the router, right? Assuming that you don't change the router's actual um, host name, you can always type in openwart.lan instead of having to like remember the IP address and boom, you're in. And that's gonna be important to note later. But since this is a fresh install, let's go ahead and let's go into it. We now have openwart, right? And is you and look, see we're using release candidate six. So now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go into the software sorry not software firmware and I'm going to flash the image all right so I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm gonna flash the old one here or the stable version I'm gonna go ahead and upload that right I'm not keeping any of the settings and I'm going to force the upgrade right and let me go ahead and hit continue all right, and now we are now installing the, the actual stable release. And what this is going to do is, so now the Linksi partition is now being wiped for good. And we're now installing uh, OpenWart, right? So now we have two versions, but right? we got the stable release version and we have the um, candidate release version, which is the one um, I'm going to uh, show you guys how to do this, the next phase of stuff. All right, you see that we're in. and boom there you go right see and there and here we are right open war and this is we're in the stable version all right so now some some really important things to do okay so off the bat right passwords all right so you want to go ahead and you want to change that right so go ahead and install your password you're going to use for your router Go ahead and save that. All right, cool. It's been saved. And then go ahead and start like actually setting up your, you know, the router how you want, right? So let me just go ahead and let's 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 do our wireless internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up for the 3200, right? So for this particular router, right? You don't want to touch this last one, right? This last one is it's meant to be used by the router to do some uh, uh, extra stuff from what I read. So you just leave that alone, leave those last two alone, and you just, you only mess with just radio zero and radio one, as far as like their SSIDs. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to, 
I'm just gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just make my changes real quick and then we will go from there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and make my changes and I'm gonna kind of show you guys all right so here we are um, let me just go ahead and throw in whatever your wireless name you want to you're going to do wireless security um, you want to for probably like the if you want to have like the you know best type of security possible right you want to use the new standard which is WPA3 SAE so let's go ahead and do that right you'll put in whatever is your routers uh, you know whatever is the password you're going to want to use and one of the nice things about open is see like it, you can also enable some extra stuff that would protect you from the many ways that hackers can get into your stuff here so see like there's some management frame protection here you got the uh, crack countermeasures and these are all things that you can try out to see it, it's super device dependent as far as like what your router not so much as what your router support but what like what the devices you have can actually support as far as connecting to the router so you'll have to experiment with this i do i do believe that management frame protection is router dependent at times as well so sometimes you uh, depending on your router you might have issues but you know this this is where you'd experiment see what works and then go from there right so i'm just going to go ahead i did my ssid I did the password, I'm leaving that AC mode. I like to put my channel to auto and set it to 160 mer you know, MHZs. Uh, I like to leave that default and then I'm gonna save. And one of the nice thing is that like, unlike uh, you know, your standard router, you can actually make a bunch of changes uh, first and then have them uh, work out. So as you see here, I'm doing the same thing. All right, cool, so that's that. Let me go to system here. I like to change my uh, my host name so because like i said see like how like ip address rise like if they know your ip the if somebody's connected to the router and they know like if it's the standard ip address 192 1.1 they can just type it in they can do the same thing with open wart with the open wart.lan so i like to so this is where i like to change the host name so i'll change that here and then also what i like to do too and this is totally optional you guys ain't got to do this but I, I like to also actually change the default ip address where you would change that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna change mines and that's that's that there all right so here i am so all right so i i, I made all the changes that i'm going to make um now i'm gonna go ahead and save and apply so now it's applying all those changes so that's just that'll take a second but what you'll see is is that the router I turn off turn back on or it might not even dep depending on the uh, depending on the change, but after that, uh, you'll see that everything is has been changed. I'm gonna go ahead and actually enable my Wi-Fi here. Make sure you enable. All right, and there we go, right? So we now have our router, it is up and functioning, and that is how you install, or that is how you, you set up uh, your open wart. 